Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this new video on the channel. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can use the new sketch maintain scroll position after click feature. Wow, that's a long name for such a new feature inside the prototyping tool. That's a new feature and if you like it, hit the thumb up button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Inside Sketch, I want to show you in our preview here what I'm talking about. We have a little website here and we can actually scroll the website and you see that we have a sticky header and then we have a couple of buttons and links at the top. And if you click sign in, you're getting this little modal in here. And getting this little modal showing you okay you can also just uh make a sticky model but what i want to show you too is if you are scrolling down to for example this dude right here and you click sign in usually what it would do is to bring you to the top so if you click it it's showing directly where we at it's presented at our current scroll position back in the day when this feature wasn't released i would have clicked the the link sign in and our screen would pop up to the top and it would be displayed right here. So if I jump into sketch and show you how it works, uh, I can show you maintain scroll position of the click is activated if I disable it and if I uh, restart my preview here. So we scroll down to a certain spot and if I click this link, it should bring me to the top. Boom, it's not maintained at the scroll position. That's why Sketch saw the problem that we, we currently had. And then they released this feature maintain scroll position. And you can just simply click it, activate it. And boom, once we restarted the preview, you will see that if you click the link, it will maintain your position. Now I, I have a pretty big file. I have a pretty big output right here with big uh, illustrations inside it. That's why all of it is taking so long for loading up all of the content. If I now click sign in, it's just showing me uh, the, the modal, the login sign in modal at my desired position. And I can even scroll the artboard because I set this to be a fixed element. And I will also show you how this works if you are interested in that. If you want to create scrollable artboards, you always need to make sure that you are using a preset like one of those from the list or you created a custom preset and which has this little resize uh, resize text in here i will also post down a link to the sketch docs if you want to read more about that but if you want to have a sticky element select one of your um desired sticky things like i want to have this model to be sticky uh, and to have a fixed position you can just um, activate fixed position when scrolling and you can do that with all of the elements so for example uh, you will see that if i uh, want to keep this sign up button stickied in its current position when i'm scrolling and this is not a good ui behavior but i want to present you how it will work you already see that it's preloading our button and now you always will have this button right in the middle of your screen. That's basically the way how you can fix the position of elements. I hope you enjoyed this small little video. If you liked it, hit the thumb up button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thanks and we will see us in the next episode. Bye.